Hey guys, it's Michael Stewart here with another quick Corel Painter Pro tutorial. Today we'll be taking a quick look at the edit workspace. So this here we have it, the edit workspace. To access it, you will just click the edit tab here at the top. You're usually started off with the manage um, workspace. So you just click the edit work tab at the top. So for in the edit you if you're doing advanced changes to photos if you're doing um graphic design project working on graphic design projects this is the workspace that you'll find yourself using the most so it has a file menu which is typical to many applications you can go there to open new documents you can open um files you can find files that are you have recently been working on then you have the edit that gives you standard options copy paste copy special um you would paste new images here paste new layers and so forth then you also have the image where that allows you to um, crop images resize images um make basic changes to the general orientation of images in terms of sizing flipping mirroring and so forth and then the two most used um, menu bar by graphic designers and photo editors are adjust and effects and this is just a general saying adjust and effects adjust allows you to manipulate the colors of photos um, the brightness and contrast um, levels if you're familiar with levels um, hue and saturation you can add sharpness to photos um, blur images you can play with the white balance here and so forth so this is like the um, the photo this menu is primarily for photographers or just image editors persons who want to play with the, 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 the vibrance and the overall color appearance of images. And then you have the effects that allows you to do pretty cool stuff like dropping shadows, adding vignette, um, turning films into black and white. You can add 3D effects to, to certain images and, and text. So you want to give a text or an image a drop shadow um, bevels and so forth um, Corel Paint Shop Pro also so you can explore most of these on your own Corel Paint Shop Pro also comes with texture effects which I find to be pretty cool when you go there you'll be able to add texture effects to um, various kinds of materials various kinds of canvases that you're working on so give you a, to give you a quick example let me go up to file new eight and a half by 11 which is a typical letter size so say I have this document right here and I can use the flood fill tool to drop a color on it onto it so I'm going to drop a, a brown so fill it with brown so go back to effects with this layer selected go back to effects texture effects and now these options become available and then you can go to texture in texture you can get to apply various kinds of texture effects to your material so let me make it a bit larger so that it's more visible and increase the depth and if you look closely you'll be able to see that the the layer here is taking on some texture so you can click here to change it so this is a brick wall for example and here we have it a brick wall texture effects so this is pretty cool you can check out other effects here um, for photographs you have some quick um, photo effects that can be used especially in film and filters so let me quickly grab a photograph from the internet so take this image for example let's copy it copy image go back to 
Corel Painter Pro edit paste as new layer because we want it to be above this layer paste as new layer well it came below it you can drag it above it zoom in so with this image selected with this layer selected you can go back to effects effects photo effects film and filters and then with the preview and image um, selected you get to see real-time updates so right now it's on glamour you can change the glamour to for example a warm earth tone and there we have it so these are some quick um, photo changes that can be made so with that said you have this the objects um, menu tab menu bar the selection menu bar where you get to modify various selections that you make on your images and then the windows that allow you to change like palettes and, and so forth not palettes um, just various windows related option like if you want it to be tiled if you want it to be um, cascade and so forth so I prefer uh, unfortunately I don't remember which option it was on but you can click this to get it back to the original format then to your left hand side you would have the different tools these are your screws your, your, your forks your knives your I'm just kidding these are just different tools that can be used to create to play to manipulate your image to edit your image and so forth for example let's start at the top you have the pan tool which allows you to move left to right if you're close up to the image and you want to move this can be accessed by hitting the space bar as well so if, for example you're using this tool here if you press space bar you can access immediately access the pan tool to to move to areas that you want to work on and to zoom in and out i'm actually using the the mouse wheel to rolling it back and forth for to zoom in backwards to zoom out then you have the pick tool with the pick tool this is useful for making quick selections on screen so it's pretty it's like selecting different layers here just that you're doing it on the project itself so I want to select the screen the file the image here of this guy you click it here it's the same thing here I want to now select the brown background I select over here and you see a selection is made here and you know that a selection it has been made when it's highlighted over here on the left hand side the right hand side sorry then you have the magic ones and other selection tools so this is the pick tool and these are the selection tools and you can click this this down arrow to access different types of selection tools so you have the regular selection tool which you you usually typically get a square selection or a rectangular selection control D to D select and then you have the free hand selection tool magic one selection tools so all of which you can explore on your own then you have the drop dropper tool this tool allow you to color pick so say for example you want to to access a specific color on the screen for example this this pinkish purplish color you can click it here and then you have the that particular color available up here for you to use in whatever way or formula you want for example say I want to make the background the same color as this so I would color pick for example a darker area here the color has been changed go to my flood fill tool go back to my background and spread that color now I have that exact color that is on the guy's shirt as my background then you have the where was I the crop tool so crop tool allows you to do what it says crop images select portions of the image that you would want and and and, and the unselected area will be removed so if I want his face here I'd select his face 
and then click apply bam now we have a cropped image you can control z to undo control d to deselect these these are straightened tools and perspective tools used to adjust different photos for example you, you if you had taken a photograph of a building and it's a bit um the angling is wrong you can use that tool to create a correct angle but the, these this would will, will be explained in future tutorials you have the red eye tool to remove red eye makeup tool and the clone tool which is quite useful so clone tool can be used in various ways it can also be used to remove blemishes how it works is that it copies um, a selected area and puts it onto another area let's use the, the this image of the guy for example I'm going to right click on his forehead here to make my first selection notice I still have a select another circle here wherever I click it will create a copy of this area onto that area so let's do this as you can see I'm copying his forehead right here and bringing it over onto his eyebrow thus removing his eyebrow so you can find various uses uses usage or usages for this tool here we made something quick really cool we just removed his eyebrows in just a few clicks in just a few clicks then you have the paintbrush tool that allows you to draw uh, this sharpen brush well not the sharpen brush but different brushes brushes that can be used to do different things like you can sharpen different areas like the eyes you can sharpen the eyes if you compare it with this one you realize that this one is now sharpened so you can pretty much explore them all to see what they all do then you have the eraser tool that allows you to erase parts of your image oh, it was not selected so as you can see I'm erasing parts of the image to reveal the the area below I'm erasing parts of the image and then the flood fill tool which I showed you how to use then the picture stamp gives you different um, images stamps of images that came with the application you can also add your own then the text tool that you use to add text to your project for example my with the, select the text tool click on the screen my name is Michael so you can use this to add different text to your, your screen then the shapes area can add symmetric shapes um, eclipse which are pretty much ovals and circles rectangles and squares and so forth then you have the pen tool which allows you to draw um, different shapes different shapes the warp brush which is pretty cool this can be used to do a wide range of things especially what they call photo manipulation so let's go back to the same photo copy the same image and bring it back Control V to paste bring it to the top bring it to the top and let's do a little a bit of photo manipulate um, warp warping so with the warp tool selected you can increase the size and then you can do things like this you can move parts of an image you can select expand so what this does it will expand the area that you have selected for example if I want to expand his eyes there we have his eyes alone being expanded and then contract does the opposite so I want to contract his nose, make his nose smaller. That's how it's done. So photo 
this this tool can be used to create really crazy um, photo manipulations and then the oil brush which is very similar to your paint brushes you can have chalk so right now it's asking to apply the, the warping and hit OK for it to be applied. So once that has been done, so these are the tools on the left and then on the right, as you may have seen, you have your layers and as well as your material section. The material section is where you, <coughs> excuse me access various various colors and so forth then the layers is where you manage the order in which um, different files that you have on your project is arranged so i hope this quick tutorial it went a little bit longer than i expected but i hope it was useful i ask you guys to subscribe and give us your feedback on whether or not this was useful and how we can improve future videos thank you very much and peace out